Welcome back to the Great Digger Show, baby. That's right. We're on the bike trail, and we're about to embark on the SCA June History Challenge. Dick in the dirt, what's up? I found a spot. It's about another 20 minutes bike ride up this way. Uh, I've already been riding for about 25 minutes. So trying to get there before the rain, get set up. Uh, if all goes well, I'll be pimping the tent tonight and some camo webbing, kicking back with a little bit of whiskey and some step threes. Stay tuned, baby. Right here. Yo, yo. Anybody here? Yo! Anybody here? Hello? I made it. Woo. This place. This place has some history of its own here, but first things first, <laughs> we gotta get rid of these mosquitoes. There's a lot of trash around here. Um, it's possible there's some homeless people around here, but I'm gonna try to get my tent set up real quick because it looks like rain. Thank you. 
call the police. Police came by once, but I don't think they were coming for me. Well, I'll tell you a little bit of why I chose this spot. It's got history for the Stealth Camping Alliance. It's got history for Florida Stealth Campers because Dick and the Dirt camped here. I wanted to be a part of the Dick and the Dirt history, Worldwide Stealth Camping Alliance, Florida Division, Dick and the Dirt, thanks for the challenge for June, SCA June History Challenge. So it's about 25% chance of rain tonight. There was a huge thunderstorm earlier around here, but it's all stopped now. Mosquitoes are horrible. It is 88, 89 degrees Fahrenheit. The low tonight is going to be about 73 degrees Fahrenheit. Mostly set up. I think it's time for a step two. Step two is going to be Step two is going to be from the titanium flask. I'm sipping on a little bit of early times Kentucky whiskey. Yeah. Early times Kentucky whiskey. And that's strong stuff. Whoo! This side. There it is. All right, get in there. Oof. Just unroll it like that. Da 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 da. Put the rain pants. Put the rain jacket. All this stuff. I got the thermos cell right here. Let me get this gas can out. This is what I get to see. That's my view. You and I know you ain't about that life. Drop, drop, drop with me now. Drop with me now. Drop, drop, drop with me now. What's the history of this place, Grave Digger? Hmm. You don't know? Maybe you need to watch Dick and the Dirt's channel. The man with the plan for the June History Challenge. He camped here. This is his spot. I found it. I didn't ask him. I just found it. Little clues in the video and I found it. Surprise! Surprise, Dick! Alright, so we're watching Gravedig is live and I know where he's at and I'm going to sneak up on him and scare the crap out of him. <laughs> this is where I camped before. I'm acting like I own this place. He's back in here somewhere. He's right there. He's right there. Hey! This this is private property. What are you doing out here? Oh, he's hiding. <laughs> hey, yeah, nobody's supposed to be here, man. What's up, dude? <laughs>
I knew I recognized this location. How did you know? I from the from the pole here, and oh. the picture that you posted in your community page, and then when you panned around, I knew it. I'm I knew to it. Learn how to use this thing. <laughs> Man. I haven't seen them. If I see them, I'll help them out. No, no, I'm just saying, if they do get me, if they arrest me, we should be able to take care of them just until I get out. Where they at? They're over here in the house. We can come over. Hey, man, if... if... Leave no trace. I gotta get out of here, man. There's too much activity over there. Druggies. They're staying in the woods right beside me. And there's a trail right over there. I'm freaking leaving. Dick said I can come to his place. I'm going to Dick and Dirt's house. I had to get out of there. Uh, they look like dope heads and they were coming in and they were hollering and like they didn't want me there it was obvious they didn't want me there and I, they were surprised I was there so they were running from the police the guy was talking like help my cats if the police catch me save the kittens okay man I packed up real quick I packed up everything called dick in the dirt he said come camp in my yard man I'm gonna camp behind dick in the dirt's house I gotta bike down the road about 30 minutes and I'll be there. Well, I'm all comfy cozy in the tent. Yeah, I rode the bike about 15, 20 minutes over to... I didn't know he lived so close, but thank goodness Dick in the Dirt stopped by. I knew he kind of lived in the area, I just wasn't sure exactly where. And it worked out for the better though. He stopped by, we had a great live. And then there was some homeless slash drug addict activity. So it was like as, as soon as as soon as Dick left, his vehicle was not parked out in front of this abandoned house any longer. That's when as soon as he left, that's when the homeless slash drug addict people came back. Anyway, I got a little clip of it. I didn't want to record too much, but I packed up real fast, as fast as I could. I never packed up that fast. Less than 10 minutes, the bag is packed, and I'm on the bike, and I'm leaving. And uh, Dick sent me his address. He's like, come on over, man. Just put your tent in the backyard. So I set up over here at Dick's house, and very hospitable. Dick's family has been great to me. I appreciate that and everything is hunky dory and the grave dig is safe um, sat on the front porch and then enjoyed another cold beverage with with Dick in the Dirt and super awesome wife awesome conversation I learned a lot I don't know how this is going to turn out for the history challenge but uh, maybe we made some history tonight who knows well, after all that excitement, it's time for Grave Digger to cast away off in the dreamland. Peace out. Well, the birds are so happy to be awake this morning. I guess I should be too. <laughs> Waking up in the tent at Dick and the Dirt's house. Yeah. Much safer place to camp than where I was at. Drug addict folks showed up talking about the police chasing them. I think it's time to get up and have some coffee. 
I got a little wake and bake session, baby. Sometimes you just gotta dump it out, start over. Won't be long, mosquitoes. Unfortunately, I'm gonna pack up quick and get out of here. I got things to do today. It's Sunday But I got a plan uh, Digging the dirt He's busy also unfortunately But that's life everybody's got a life So uh, it was great to get together last night with him for a short time short time, but I mean it's 6 in the morning now 630 and he is I think he's already getting ready to head out. So, well, today's beans. I'm still on these these arabica beans that were bought from Chimney Rock, North Carolina, and imported to Florida by a loving, caring subscriber. So, still working on these beans. I like fresh ground coffee. Let's see what we got. It's gonna be a nice cup. And I got enough for one more cup in there if I need it. You can store about two, maybe even three cups of coffee worth of beans inside the mill. Depends on how strong you like it. And there are 30 plus settings on the grain size or grind size. How, how fine or coarse you want to grind your coffee. Like if you want espresso or, you know. All right. Wake and bake. Wake and bake. Wake and bake. Wake and bake. Chica chica chica. Wake and bake. Chica chica chica. What you talking about? Wake and bake.
everyone else did better than me on their SCA June History Challenge Stealth Camp. For me, this one's kind of a fail. <laughs> I did have to abandon my site. If it weren't for people saying they're running from the police and obvious drug addict problems, I would have probably stayed. The fellow that you heard his voice, he went in the house and got some of his personal belongings and left. So it was obvious that that was his spot, you know, and I was intruding. And uh, I had the means to go other places, so why not? You know, why put pressure on some other people that are already homeless and under pressure? So I just packed up and rolled out, and I don't regret it for one second. Uh, everything works out for a reason, and I believe that. Bag on back. The grave digger slip right there. Cleaned up digging the dirt, leave no trace. we'll go ahead and wrap this one up. Failed stealth camp for the SCA June History Challenge. But it was a good time. I enjoyed myself. I'm glad Dick busted me at his old camp spot. And then uh, the events, the way they turned out, I ended up over at his place camping. And couldn't ask for more hospitality. Thanks to Super Awesome Wife and Dick in the Dirt. I really appreciate the love. Huge shout out to all the members. I appreciate all the support. Good luck to everybody on the History Challenge. There's a $100 reward out there. I want to encourage each and every one of you to get outside. Whatever you can do, whatever level you're at, enjoy the outdoors. And you know what Grave Digger says, get outdoors. <laughs> <laughs>